So here we have a KitchenAid mixer and we're going to see that it is skipping when we turn it on. So it's physically stopping, so we're going to find out what gear is bad and do our best to replace it. To get to the gear box here, we have four more screws and they're all the number two square. So we'll take those out. We're going to set this aside. Now I'm spinning the motor right now and when it spins this gear should be spinning and if I move the blade down below I think I can see where the bad gears are. So let's take a closer look at those. So we can see here we have some nice gears right in here and then as we come around they flatten out and there's nothing there for it to grab onto. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do is to take off this retaining clamp right here. So I'm gonna get the tools so we can start that and reposition it at a better angle. I have my retaining ring pliers here to take out the retaining ring here. And I'm going to place them right in the hole, spread it apart, not too much, bring it up and over, and then set that off to the side. So we've got this ridge here that the retaining ring was holding that down, so now we just need to get that started. It's probably going to be a little messy here, but we're going to pull that right up off the shaft. We'll set that aside. Now the part that actually moves when it's spinning is held up by this pin right here. We're going to take that out and then gently drop this down. It's going to fall right out. We're going to set those both aside. And then we can take out the worm gear. So as we can see right here, this is flattened right down. We've got these nice ridges over here, and then this side is flattened right down. So we're going to take a look at Amazon and see what that part is. So I went online and found a diagram of my KitchenAid mixer. And here we have part number 10. And if we scroll down... It's the worm follower gear, part number AP60489. And you can buy it right on this website for $15.38. Um, I did find it on Amazon for $10.99. So I'm going to order that. Um, they do sell some, it looks like, that have you know, plastic gears. And then just make sure that this top part is correct. If it's a round circle, it's not going to work. And it looks like maybe the newer models than mine have that round circle part. So we're going to wait for that to come back. And when it gets here, we'll put it back together. So the stay worm follower gear has arrived, so we're going to start putting stuff back together. As you can tell, I've tried my best to clean out most of the grease. I'm going to put this back in, and I would spin it a little bit, make sure the gears underneath have lined up. And the worm follower gear goes on. A little bit tighter than the last one. It 
it's important to line this up because when this gear goes on notice they have to line up now it's time to put in the retaining clip and spread that apart a little bit and help it go down make sure it seats in and this is the worm gear we're going to place this in and make sure it's seated correctly and this top part has to go up if you turn it this way it won't set down in so we want to make sure it's up on both sides now it's time for some pasting of the grease so put that right on top Turn the motor to get it to go in through. And that's about enough. Now the transmission cover, gearbox cover, needs to be seated down. Make sure it fits the top of the shaft. And seat it down so it's tight. Now it's time to put the cover back on and ready for the screws. We'll put the guide over, tighten that in the back. Let's test it. As you can see, no more skipping. I hope this video helped, and good luck.